I'm back with some really bad news. Today, V Shoujo has unfortunately announced Nazuna and V Shoujo have chosen to mutually conclude their contract arrangement uh, on December 31st, 2023. Amemiya Nazuna will maintain ownership of her intellectual properties and assets as she continues her creative endeavors. We appreciate the support you have provided to Nazuna and hope that it continues as she begins the next leg of her journey. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know much about Nazuna, but hear me out. Nazuna was a VTuber that V Shoujo uh, debuted back in, if I am not mistaken, according to Google, July 16th, 2022. So it, un it hasn't been a, while, a long time since Nazuna has debuted. It's been like a little over a year and a half, I think, at this point. And Nazuna has done some incredible stuff with V Shoujo over the past year and a half. In fact, I think just a few days ago, they ended up doing, I believe, a charity stream uh, trying to raise money for Toys for Tots. So Nazuna is a fantastic individual. And, you know, I, I should start there because none of this was done with malice. Now, what I will say is that over the past year, of Nazuna being a member of Vishojo, Nazuna has streamed um, very little. Uh, surprisingly enough, though, not less than Hime Hajime. Because Hime Hajime, if you guys don't remember, is still a member of Vishojo who streamed 60 times in the past year. Whereas Nazuna has streamed a whopping 115. Which proves that, like, Hime Hajime somehow is still a member of V Shoujo the same way Gura is still a member of Hollow Life. And the fact that Nazuna wants to leave this organization, we'll probably never know. However, what I will say is that with all these VTuber agencies recently losing talents left and right, something very special has happened in the case of V Shoujo losing this talent. V Shoujo has done what many other companies would never dream of doing i mean there have been a few other companies that have ha started doing this exact thing but if we go back to that statement from earlier they're allowing nazina to maintain intellectual uh property ownership over the nazina model which honestly is just proving that v shoujo has largely stuck to their word over the past few years I mean, V Shoujo has always been a talent first agency. And once again, in a case like this, where they created the model um, for as far as we're all aware, they're allowing Nazuna to go ahead and maintain that ownership, which is honestly really impressive. It just means that like if Nazuna so chooses to ever go ahead and use said model in the future, um, I mean, she can, she, she owns it. And, and, and that is just impressive in and of itself. But allow me for a second uh, to speak more about Nazina in general and, and why not only I liked her, but a few other people may have liked her as well. I, I think I can go on the record saying this, that she'll be missed. She, she genuinely will be missed by a few people in the community. Um, I enjoyed that first stream. Even if it was the only one that I saw, I did in fact enjoy it. I enjoyed the model. And, and you know, I'm, I'm very happy that she gets to keep that model because like in other cases and in other companies, that model would just be lost to the wayside. It's a very, very adorably cute model. And it's it's something that I am, I'm happy that we will get to see again in the future. Um, if she so chooses to continue using that model because who knows for all we know she could decide to retire that model uh and as far as we're aware i i'm not sure if there will be a graduation stream because as the notice states you know they are concluding their contractual agreement on december 31st 2023 that's just a few days from now so it's sounding like it's a situation that's very similar to the hollow uh stars boy situation where you know they didn't graduate except i'm not necessarily sure if that was a contractual thing at all i don't think anyone really knows that for sure but this 
this definitely is it was laid out right in front of our eyes and it, it seems like it was very much mutual so whatever the case whatever nazana chooses to do in the future i'm sure it'll be great because she has brought smiles to the masses i'm sure a lot of you have lots of moments that you could honestly probably mention down below what you liked about nazana and I will say this, while I do have my criticisms about certain things the Shoujo as an agency may have done in the past, this is honestly one of the moments that I'm very happy they, you know, did what was right. <laughs> you know, it seems like they probably spoke to Nazana behind the scenes. They both understood each other. And there doesn't seem to be any ill will. I mean, we had Iron Mouse respond to the tweet with hearts. And Iron Mouse is known to just love the people that she's worked with and, you know, has always interacted with. So it seems like it seems like this is just a good thing. And as much as people might want to think that the the graduation of a VTuber or the end of a VTuber's career in a certain company, um, is mostly a bad thing. I would argue that this one isn't, right? Like, I think if I've learned anything from this year, it's that VTubing in 2023 has taught me that not all graduations are bad. And the term graduation is oftentimes, uh, you know, equated to just very negative things. Whereas we can, we can see in examples like this, even if she isn't getting a graduation, but in some cases, it's just fine. Sometimes people, they just want to move on in their lives and, and that's okay. You know, as much as we might want some people to, you know, stay with certain agencies forever or keep doing that same thing over and over, people change. What people might want changes, what you might enjoy will change and what Nazana seems to have wanted and what Vishojo seems to have wanted changed. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. I'm so glad you decided to check out this video. Uh, thank you for watching the videos over the past year. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want more of my opinions, because you know I'm not a news guy. I just give you my opinions and certain things that are happening in the community. And this is just one of those days. I'll see you guys whenever another situation like this happens. Hopefully not anytime soon. But I mean, as always, I'm glad we got to talk about this. Take care.